Hello everyone, it's time for Jello Tester. <laughs> I set this all up and then Hazel decided that she needed to be on the ironing board. Hayes, what are you doing? Just sit down. Yeah, just sit down. Today's recipe is another real misnomer, much like the strawberry jello salad that, surprise, had shrimp in it. This one is just called green salad. Green salad does mean something. That is a phrase that people have an idea about. People's ideas aren't all exactly the same, but they're in the same area of like lettuce, probably. There's no lettuce in here and there is jello in here and there is mayonnaise and cottage cheese. So, so basically what we're gonna be doing for this recipe is we take, are you licking? Are you just licking the, okay. So what we have here is cottage cheese and mayonnaise, two of my favorite creamy white substances. I truly, I truly didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> cottage cheese and mayonnaise. They are going to go in the blender. Here's my blender. And then we're going to add cucumber, green onions, Lemon jello, lemongelo. I've addressed that in a video before, haven't I? Lemongelo and arangelo. It's fake and it's racist. Look it up. This one's pretty simple. We're just gonna put everything in the blender, puree it, pour it in a mold, bibbidi bobbidi boop. It's done. Now the recipe does say to use a package of lemon and a package of lime, but I am not making a whole recipe because this is jello tester and no one needs that much of a monstrosity. I actually think lime would be nice with this because cucumber, but cucumbers and lemon, great, very Greek. Um, what if we put some feta cheese in this? Sick. <laughs> I'm, I don't know, I'm loopy today. Uh, <laughs> I mostly pick lemon because we just use lime with the pineapple one. So that's really the only way I made that choice. Let's get this in the blender, huh? So here goes our cottage cheese. Oh no, our mayo. You may recall, if you've seen my 7-Up Salad video, I made one with mayonnaise and one without mayonnaise just to see how they tasted. And I found that the no mayonnaise one was more fluffy and the mayonnaise one was more creamy. So I'm anticipating a pretty creamy texture on this one. I have to stop saying creamy. All right, let's blend this as directed. <laughs> it's the release button, what the fuck? Looks Smooth by Santana featuring Rob Thomas. Or is it Rob Thomas featuring Santana? Santana's better, so it should be featuring Rob Thomas. Doesn't matter. Smooth. I'm gonna put in the cucumber next. And then I'm gonna put in the green onion. I don't know if you could see what happened there, but the green onions just like flew up. They were on the top and they just flew up and not many of them got blended. So let me push these down. Ooh, right now it smells really good, actually. <laughs> I would have this as a salad dressing. Is this how you make a green goddess dressing? Great. I hope I let it cool enough. It steamed a little as I put it in. Ooh. <laughs> Cucumber and green onion are still dominating the aroma profile. The lemon is not coming through right now. I wonder if that will change as this sets up, but that's what we're here to find out. There she is. She's frothy. She's frothy. She's ready to go in the fridge. So we'll see you later, girl. Bye. Hello. It's time to check out our green salad. The cucumber is definitely the biggest smell to come through and the surface has a lot of little bubbles that's there i'm gonna dip this in a little warm water to unmold it and then we'll see how it looks and how it tastes unmolding test number one not yet okay i'm gonna try it again and if it doesn't work i'm getting hotter water no Water's not hot enough. This is good info. 
tap water is not sufficiently warm. Normally I get it from our electric kettle, but I didn't want to wait for the kettle to boil. <laughs> but I guess I will have to because it's not coming out. Hotter water, let's go. Oh yeah. You ready? <gasps> <laughs> oh, I would not call that green. I used lemon jello, not lime jello, no lime jello. So if I had used lime jello, there would be a lot more green. Not a ton of jiggle. A little bit, but not a lot. The shape is pretty lovely. So let's just give it a slice. Oh God. Here's what the insides look like. Sort of looks, I mean, it looks like a weird cheese, I guess. Consistency. Let's go. <laughs> the lemon jello is not super present. And I think that's a good thing. Oh, but then you get it, you do get it. You get it eventually. Mm. Yeah, the lemon jello is like, it ruins it. I mean, without the lemon jello, it's just cottage cheese, mayonnaise, cucumbers, and green onions to be a delightful sauce. Salad dressing, dip a cracker in it, dip a vegetable in it. But then you had to go and put lemon jello in it and it's ruined. It's like, a, it's just a little too sweet. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. It's not bad, but it's not a green salad. <laughs> and I'm surprised that they were allowed to call it that. Green salad.